Recently I had a subscriber ask me about DEF or diesel exhaust fluid and he requested that I make a video about it and so that's what this is about. In 2010 the emissions requirements for diesels like this one, it's a 2012, uh, required that they had to do something about their oxides of nitrogen or NOx that they were emitting and so you'll notice that this fuel door is a little bit longer than normal and the reason why is that you have your diesel tank and your death tank and this isn't some optional uh, kind of thing where it's kind of nice to put in some uh, well, there's a bunch of different names for it you can call it um, death diesel exhaust fluid you can call it aqueous urea solution 32.5 percent or OS 32 or you can call it ad blue which the German Association of Automotive Bills Industry, whatever, decided to call it. But this is what it is. It costs about $6 a gallon. It's not a big deal. Oftentimes these will last a tank of gas or about 300 miles. Um, as far as this goes, it's 32.5% urea, which sounds kind of like urine, and I guess it kind of is. And the advantage of using this is that they can inject this selectively you know they call it a selective catalytic reduction system and it's got a catalytic converter a lot like what you'd have in a gas car um, but with this one it just it injects it uh, selectively upstream and it goes through a chamber and the chamber vaporizes it and then it goes through the catalytic converter and it comprises of two different sections a selective catalytic uh, reduction system and then a slip catalytic converter so, uh, in your catalytic converter on your car, you, it burns out the hydrocarbons primarily, primarily. Uh, but this one is specific to just get rid of the NOx, and so that's what it's about. Um, like I say, it's 32.5% urea. When you look on the bottle, it'll give you all this information on there. And then it's 67.5% uh, water, or agua, and it's not just normal water, it's deionized water. And this helps it work better. Now the thing about the urea is that when you get it vaporized and then you heat it up real good it causes it to turn into ammonia. Ammonia is a nitrogen with three hydrogens on it or NH3 and when you mix that with NOx it causes a chemical reaction you know when heated to where you just have nitrogen and water you know just nitrogen and H2O and so that's a good thing you know those are both inert and harmless to the environment so that's why they're uh, doing this DEF now like I say if you run out of DEF it's as bad as running out of gas diesel excuse me diesel fuel um, what will happen is you have a light that comes on it's got a bunch of lines with droplets going through it you know that's like exhaust fumes with you know dripping the DEF fluid in and basically uh, that light will come on when you're down to 10 percent capacity of the tank and then it'll go down even more it'll start to flash and then after that uh, what will happen is the next time you turn your key off your the next time you go to start the vehicle it will have reduced power maybe only be able to go five miles an hour or whatever I wanted to make it so that it didn't uh, run at all but at least that's why you can limp five miles an hour so if you see a nice diesel truck on the side of the highway doing five miles an hour on the shoulder through all the debris and nails and stuff don't let that be you make sure that you have a bottle of this stuff on hand and then you'll be all right you'll want to have a funnel too because as you can see when you go to pour it out of this um, you got to pour it into that little thing so you'll definitely need a funnel maybe they could design a funnel that's a little better if you look at the 4.7 liter motor the gas engine that dodge does where you go to put your oil in it's like a built-in funnel it's a great big cap just like every other cap but it's threaded big too so you can just pour the oil into that large opening like a funnel so anyway that's my video for blue def or os32 or whatever you want to call it add blue uh, if you want more information about this i'm going to put a link in the underbar and it's going to say uh, cumminsfiltration.com back in 2006 cummins started to do it back then they were daimler chrysler uh, as i said the german auto group they're the ones that came up with this originally i think it might have been mercedes so there's a close relationship mercedes used to own uh, chrysler now it's owned by fiat and a bunch of other companies most auto companies have shares in all the other auto companies 
and you go into look who owns who and cars you know you can google that I mean it's always changing and Toyota owns a little bit of pretty much everybody uh, but anyway check it out